Today we are going to be performing the female Foley catheter insertion. This is what your typical catheter um, insertion kit looks like. I removed the plastic bag and this is used as my garbage. You want to open the Foley catheter kit away from you. And the best way to keep the ends from coming back on the kit is to just make sure that they are bent under a little bit. It will help. I'm trying to set up my sterile site here. Here's your latex gloves. We are going to take those and lay them here on the table. Here's your sterile drape. You grab it from the shiny side. From the shiny side, you'll grab the two corners, shake it apart. And what I like students to do is fold the inside so that the shiny side is out, back up to your resident, or your patient, and drop now in this case I can't get that under the patient correctly so I'm going to show you how to do it once I get my sterile gloves on I'm going to apply my sterile gloves if you need assistance with the sterile gloving video please um, go back and watch that video Now that my hands have my sterile gloves on, I can take and position the sterile drape here as best I can without contaminating my hands. This is a fenestrated drape. We do not use that, so I'm going to throw that into the garbage can. Once you have sterile gloves on, you must keep your hands above your waist. You will see me going off to my right side as I put my garbage into my bag. <clears throat> the kits will either contain Covidine swabs that will if I was going to use these swabs I'm not going to on the mannequin I would remove them and lay them here so that they were easily accessible if you get some betadine on your fingers you just need to rub your fingers together for a minute and that betadine will dry then I'm going to throw that away I need some lubrication for my Foley calf. I'm now going to separate my box from my catheter. <clears throat> I want to test my balloon to make sure that the balloon inflates and that it's intact. Some catheters, the manufacturer does not recommend doing this, so please watch um, what the catheter um, maker has said. Here's my sterile specimen container. <clears throat> Once I have checked my balloon, then I am going to remove the plastic wrap, but make sure that you have control of your Foley catheter so that it does not become contaminated. I am now going to contaminate my left hand and to do that, I am going to pull the labia, separate the labia, so that I can get a good visual of the urinary meatus. With the cotton tip applicators, or there may be cotton balls that you would be using with a tweezer type thing, I am going to come over my sterile field, go down one side, come along to the side, do not cross your sterile field, take my next one, go down the other side, come around my sterile field, one more down the center, always maintaining the labia separated so not to, as not to be able to um, um, contaminate. Now I want to lubricate my catheter. Now I'm, the only thing I'm concerned about is this first three to four inches and keeping things sterile. 
Once it's lubricated, I am going to put a little bit more lubrication on it there. Insert the Foley catheter. With your one hand, your sterile hand, you want to insert the catheter until you start seeing urine. Once you see urine, you would want to go in another inch. <clears throat> then I can remove my hand from the labia. Pinch, grab down here a little bit, about an inch below the meatus. Come back here and go ahead and insert your water, your sterile saline. While you're inserting that, make sure that you are asking your patient if they are feeling any discomfort, notice their face grimacing. Um, go ahead and put all the water in. You need to maintain pressure on that syringe. Pull back slightly on the catheter, not real hard, to see if it's in place. If you let go of this syringe, as you see, the water is going to fill up and come out of the balloon. So make sure that you maintain pressure on that. This hand comes back, we will grab the catheter, unscrew the syringe. You have now completed your sterile um, Foley cath insertion. I am going to now clean up my supplies, and you do have a choice here. If you want to put on clean gloves, you can do that at this time. I am going to take my dirty gloves that I still have on. I'm not going to touch the catheter bag. I'm going to dump this product into the garbage. Change my gloves. Oops. Make sure I cover my patient up here as quickly as possible. Then you want to tape this or use an adhesive um, for Foley cath holders. Would like to tape this with some flexibility here on the leg. Tape it at the Y so that this is flexible. <clears throat> Once it's taped in place, the bag then hangs on a non-movable side portion of the bed. The Foley cath is then twirled around and left at the bed. That finishes the sterile um, Foley cath insertion. You want to do your documentation now. Your documentation would include your data, your action, your response, and your evaluation. Data on this patient's simulation would be the patient was unable to void after surgery. Um, my data would be I, have, I assess the bladder. Um, palpated to make sure that um, there was bladder distension. You may have done a bladder scan. Your action is going to be actually what you did. You inserted a 16 French, um, 10 cc's in the balloon without difficulties. Your response is actually, here's where I would put urine came back, um, 400 cc's of clear amber urine obtained, um, patient, compl no, no complaints of problems, and your plan is what are you going to do? You're going to maintain pericares, um, clean Foley calf cares, <clears throat> and that would be it for your documentation.